After dealing with the complexity of the shoulder joint, you should have an easier time with the rest of the arm. Set the animation length between frames 1040 and 1240 to focus on the arm animation. The middle joint, the elbow, can only rotate in one direction, much like the knee. However, because of the arm's roll bones, there is also a bit of a twist to take into account. As always, start by blocking off vertices to follow their closest bones. You have already done a bit of work on the shoulder joint, so you can concentrate on the rest of the arm, down to the wrist. This may be easier to do from the top view. The elbow area requires a bit of attention. Start by selecting these vertices and assign them to follow the shoulder bone 100%. Next, select loops or rings using Shift 2 or Shift 3 to select and assign vertices to the forearm bone and the forearm roll bones. The selection of roll bones is often difficult in the viewport, so select them from the bone list in the skin modifier. As you scrub the animation, take into account the vertices you need to blend. There are some that need blending when the arm twists. There are those that need special attention as the elbow rotates. By this time, you know what you need to do. You select one or more vertices, select a bone to follow, and adjust the weighting. Near the shoulder, some vertices need a bit of blending with the shoulder roll bone. Keep on selecting loops or rings and adjust the weights accordingly. The elbow still needs a bit of work. Take a look at it from the top between frames 1120 and 1140. Select these elbow vertices that are currently assigned to the shoulder. Select the forearm bone and gently blend the weighting. Do not overdo it yet as you will need different values between the front and back vertices. Remove or add vertices and adjust the weighting. Move to the next loop. Blend in the weighting as you did a second ago. You'll almost certainly need to work on individual vertices to make it look right. Keep on working and blending vertices by going back and forth between them. Look at the scene from different angles and scrub the animation to study the deformation. When the elbow is done, you can blend the weighting of the forearm vertices. These should be pretty easy to adjust. Start by working them one loop at a time, then adjust the individual vertices if need be. When you're done, exit envelope mode and save your file. In the next movie, you will work on the hand and wrist.